Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, I'm going back home. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and before you, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. Luke 15, 18 through 19. Being a Christian is a wonderful life. Yes, it's an awesome thing to know that you're serving the Creator and seeing the move of the Holy Spirit day after day. But being a Christian is also a life of challenge, a life of hardship, tears, and daily struggles. One of the reasons for this is because before we got saved, we could do as we wanted, we could go where we wanted, say what we wanted. But now, because there is a transformation, there are things that you can do as you used to, places you can go as you used to. And the reality comes, not everybody can manage this. And as a result, many fall away. There are many persons who leave the church, and after leaving the church, they realize the mistake that they've made. Many leave for sex and various pleasures of the flesh. But then when all that is done, they are left feeling empty. Because there's a void in all of us that no man or woman can fill that void. That void can only be filled by God. It is interesting to note that the woman at the well, Jesus offered her water that could change her life. Many of us were as excited as her when we got saved. We were on fire for the Lord. We were singing on the choir, preaching, teaching, attending Sunday school, doing all that was required. But now we find ourselves outside of the place of safety and in the cold and the rain. Many of us want to come back, but then because of shame and fear, we remain where we are. This is why the parable of the prodigal son is so important in the life of the child of God. This son went to his father and asked for his inheritance. In other words, he was quite comfortable where he was, but then he chose to leave. After leaving, all of what he had was gone. His money, his friends, and he was now alone. Things got so bad that he was now feeding swines and started to lust after the food that the swines were eating. His heart condemned him. His shame oppressed him. But grace called him. He came to his senses and said, I will arise and go back to my father's house. Making the decision to return to the house of God means that you're going back home, not to your pastor, not to the choir studs, not to the members of the church, but you're going back to God. I want you to understand that God's grace is more than what man can comprehend. We've all messed up. We've all gone and done some things that we shouldn't have done. But then when the grace of God comes on you, grace made it as if you have never sinned. The prodigal son went back home and though his brother was upset as people are going to be, you have to understand going back home doesn't mean that everybody is going to welcome you. It doesn't mean that everybody is going to smile with you. But you've got to stop focusing on the brothers and the sisters and focus on whose house it is. His father was right there with his arms outstretched, ready to receive his son. As a matter of fact, his father said that my son, who was one dead is now made alive. Can I encourage today a backslider to stop wasting your time being out there in the valley of the shadow of death. The Lord is saying to you today that his love is beyond comprehension. Man have a tendency when people come back to church, they take them and put them at the back bench. But watch this. The prodigal son said, I want to be a servant. I don't want to be a son. But the father reinstated him as a son. There's still purpose in you. God is not going to leave you by the wayside. He is saying to you today, my son, come back home. The quote of the day, God is not going to put you at the back of the line, but he's going to put you right back in place. God bless you today. In Jesus' name.